work that CJFE does in highlighting journalists around the world and sort of making it come to life exactly what our trade is all about, this is the place where that happens. And it's a totally trademark evening. I'm extremely pleased to say that with more than 500 people in this room, this is the largest, most successful gala that we have had. I'm really thrilled to see the CJFE honoring Jamil Jaffer tonight and Ken Rubin with very big awards because they have both done so much work in trying to deal with issues of privacy, government surveillance and government transparency. They are giants in the field, they are real heroes, and it's wonderful to see them honored tonight. For the freedoms of speech and association, the greatest threat right now comes not from direct censorship or restraint, but from mass surveillance, which by its nature leaves little room for privacy and little room for dissent. I've always felt the battle is threefold. Getting the information, getting it reported, and getting it used. Hani Almulia, the Syrian photographer from Holmes in Syria, he's a 21-year-old who is legally blind and has taken the images in this photo exhibit behind us tonight. His images are stunning, and you would never know that if something wasn't 10 centimeters from his face, he can't even see it in clarity. His story is so moving, and today he is with us in Canada, in Regina, living now as a refugee here. Behind a brief sea suffering there's a victory in the end and that's that's was what I what I'm standing here the reason that I'm standing here tonight thank you tonight we are proud to give the IFA award to Safa Al Ahmad a Saudi documentary filmmaker whose work has brought the stories of populist uprisings in the Middle East to the world she was forced to flee her home country but despite numerous threats on her life, she continues to shine a spotlight on stories that would otherwise go untold. I'd like to thank you for this award. It's a great honor. The Middle East definitely needs more support for investigative journalism. And uh, this kind of highlights that kind of work. And I thank you very much for it. The world is witnessing uh, the worst attack on press freedoms and on uh, human rights in a generation, possibly. And the numbers speak when you have almost 200 journalists behind bars uh, globally and at least 50 who have been killed just in 2015. And we cannot let this continue. You know, free expression is the demarcation point of what makes this, you know, life worth living, basically. And this country, the envy of the world at this point, there's so much tragedy and uh, loss of freedom and this is why we fight for it here and it's critical to actually experiencing life as it has is meant to be but people don't realize how much it's doing for journalists who work in this country and it's fighting so many different court cases it's representing us trying to get access to information it's trying to get better uh, laws so that we can actually do our journalism without risk of being sued. Access to information is one of the necessities for a democracy. So we have high hopes for the new government and especially that they will honor their promise to revisit Bill C-51. Our work of securing more access to information and the continued freedom of those who contribute to courageous reporting here in Canada and elsewhere too is crucial to the well-being of us all. So we say join with us when you can, whenever you can, however you can, and we promise we won't let you down.